Hi, welcome back to the Aquifer. I'm Ted Bennett. In this video, we're going to take the model that we previously built and we're going to add a second set of pumps. I hope you enjoy this because this is a lot easier than what I used to do to create the second pump uh, train. And so here we go. Here's the model uh, from the first video. We'll go ahead and run it to prove to you that it is, in fact, the same one. Uh, 393 gallons per minute at 77 feet of head. And what we're going to do in this video is add the second pump. Usually these pump stations will have at least two pumps. Uh, with the second pump serving as uh, sort of a backup, uh, they usually get run in a duplex situation where they sort of take turns and alternate uh, to save hours and run time and divide that amongst two units, sort of double your lifetime uh, of the pumps. And what I'm doing here is a little bit of housekeeping just to sort of clean up the model. Uh, so when we do the, the copying and pasting of the units, you'll see that the graphics sort of get ugly initially and then um, we can move those around. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the pump. You always have to have something for your pipes to connect to uh, if you're going to copy pipes. So we're going to go ahead and paste the same pump. This is the easiest way to do this because it keeps all of the attributes uh, the same over here on the right side by this copy paste. So I, I like doing it this way. Uh, your piping is the same, so we can do the same thing. Sometimes this won't quite populate right, so we'll just kind of let it float and we'll just drag it into position. So there's our piping. And let's get our discharge piping, which would be the same. Go ahead and paste that in there. Let's try that again, copy. As you can see, even I struggle with this time to time. There we go. And it's gone ahead and it's already populated. And so I'll kind of talk while I'm moving things around kind of one final time. Uh, as you can see, now we're getting 362 gallons a minute out of each pump. And you might look at this and say, well, we were getting 393 with one pump. Um, why did it why did it go down? Well, it did because now you have two pumps sort of fighting for position in this force main. So each one is delivering less flow uh, compared to running by themselves. But when they combine flows in a parallel situation, this is a parallel pumping system, we're totaling out at 720, almost 724 gallons a minute. Uh, so we are getting more flow out of the system when both pumps run, but not double. If you remember your hydraulics, you won't double your flow. You get sort of a percentage, you know, based upon the shape of that discharge curve. Uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, I could do a video on the, the graphics of the, the pump system. Um, if you have this to set up and you want to just get rid of the other pump, you can just right click on the pipe there and you can close the pipe. Uh, and you're back to the first network. So this is how you add a second pump to a uh, pipe flow model in the next video. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to show you a lie that pipe flow will tell you. And with that, you now see that using the copy paste function simplifies the addition of a second pump trade a lot. Uh, thanks for watching the video. And as always, thank you for all of your comments. Uh, if you wish to live in any here on YouTube, you know, ask me a question. Uh, throw out an idea for a future video. I'd be happy to put something together for you. Uh, look me up on uh, Twitter, Ted Bennett PE, or uh, follow me on LinkedIn. I post a lot of articles uh, related to water and wastewater engineering. Uh, this is what I do every single day. So if you want to know, you got to ask. Uh, thanks again for checking me out on the aquifer, and I'll keep working on some more content for next time. See ya.